Iodine is a mineral naturally present in soil and seawater. More than half the iodine in the body is in the thyroid gland in the front of the neck, as it is an essential component of thyroid hormones, including thyroxine, T4, and triiodothyronine, T3, which affect gene expression, promote protein synthesis, regulate basal metabolic rate, body temperature growth, and development. When our diet does not supply enough iodine, deficiency reduces production of thyroid hormones. Metabolic rate slows and fatigue, weight gain, and enlarged thyroid gland, called a goiter, may occur. The availability of iodine in foods differs in various regions of the world. Iodized table salts is a reliable source, but sea vegetables are encouraged for their wide array of other health-promoting nutrients, in addition to iodine richness. Sea vegetables are a great source of bioavailable iron, and they're also accompanied by a measurable amount of vitamin C. Since vitamin C acts to increase the bioavailability of plant iron, this combination in sea vegetables may offer a special benefit. Brown algae, including the commonly eaten sea vegetables kombu, kelp, wakame, and arame, may be unique among sea vegetables in their iodine content. Some species from the brown algae genus Laminaria are able to accumulate iodine in up to 30,000 times more concentrated a form than seawater. Brown algae like kombu, kelp, wakame, and arame can be particularly concentrated sources of iodine, but all varieties and colors of kelps and seaweeds are rich in vitamins and minerals. You're going to find measurable amounts of calcium, copper, magnesium, manganese, molybdenum, phosphorus, potassium, selenium, vanadium, and zinc in sea vegetables. The antioxidant content of sea vegetables also deserves mention. Sea vegetables contain measurable amounts of polyphenols like carotenoids and flavonoids, and also contain other phytonutrient antioxidants, including several types of alkaloids that have been shown to possess antioxidant properties also containing antioxidant vitamins like vitamin C and E, and antioxidant minerals like manganese, zinc, and selenium. Sea vegetables can reduce our risk of unwanted oxidative stress and many types of cardiovascular problems that are associated with poor antioxidant intake. Popular types of sea vegetables include nori, which is a dark purple-black color that turns green when toasted. It's famous for its role in making sushi. Kelp which is light brown to dark green in color, oftentimes available in flake form. There's haijiki, which is strong flavored and looks like small strands of black wiry pasta. There's kombu, which is very dark in color and sold in strips or sheets, sometimes used as flavoring for soups. There's wakame, which is similar to kombu and it's most commonly used to make Japanese miso soup. Arame, which is lacy and wiry. It's a little sweeter and milder in taste than many others and dos, which has a soft, chewy texture and is a reddish-brown color. Sea vegetables have an excellent ability to take up minerals from the water and hold on to these minerals in their cells. This ability makes sea vegetables a rich source of many minerals, including magnesium, calcium, iron, and iodide. However, in waters that have become polluted with heavy metal elements, including arsenic, lead, and cadmium, Sea vegetables can also act like a sponge in absorbing these unwanted contaminants. Among these heavy metals, arsenic appears to be most problematic when it comes to sea vegetable toxicity risk. Virtually all types of sea vegetables have been determined to contain traces of arsenic. These types include arame, haijiki, kombu, nori, and wakame. Among all types of sea vegetables, however, haijiki stands out as being particularly high risk when it comes to arsenic exposure. Therefore, it is recommended to avoid haijiki as a sea vegetable unless it's available in the form of a certified organic haijiki. The levels of arsenic found in other types of sea vegetables have been relatively small. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA for short, has set out an oral reference dose for arsenic exposure at 0.3 micrograms per kilogram of body weight per day. So for a person weighing 154 pounds, that amount translates into about 21 micrograms of arsenic. In multiple research studies, the amount of arsenic present in one tablespoon of kelp 
has averaged about 4 to 5 micrograms, or approximately 20 to 25% of the oral reference value. As described earlier, you are also much more likely to get a low level of arsenic exposure or no arsenic exposure at all by selecting certified organic seed vegetables.